Welcome to the Flash Performance Garage. My name is Chad and I got my hands on the new Autel Ultra. And there's some features you got to see. I just got done doing a bunch of AC work to this 2015 Ford Explorer. And to do that, I had to drop the rear cradle assembly and drop the fuel tank out. And doing that, I unplugged a whole bunch of different stuff. And I wanted to go through and make sure that I cleared all the codes and make sure I didn't set anything in the process. So I grabbed my Ultra, plugged it into the car, and you are gonna be amazed. Check this out. I have the VCMI plugged into the car and we are connected wirelessly to the tablet. Actually, I chose to connect via Wi-Fi. You can connect via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. There's both options. You can even hard connect if you really wanted to. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna to go to Diagnostics, and we're going to do an Auto VIN. Now, you'll notice that there's three different options now. You can do Auto Detect, Manual Input, or Scan VIN and License. I'm not gonna talk about that one yet, but that, that will be a future video. You're gonna love that. So we're gonna jump right into auto detect. It knows it's a Ford. And we're going to do okay. We read the VIN out. And it is a 2015. So we have all the information about the vehicle. We're gonna click okay. And you'll notice that our menu looks a little bit different than what you're used to on your Maxisys tool. Check this out. They have a new option called topology. And this is really only known in the OE world and Chrysler was really the first one that that came out with that and just to give it this layout and this makes finding network issues amazing. So we have two options to be able to view our codes. We have our topology and we have list. We're going to go under topology first and if we click scan what you'll see is all of the different modules that are available for this vehicle and it's going through and scanning all the different modules at the bottom of the screen, we can see that there's a green for pass and red for fault. You can also see that we have our high speed and low speed CAN networks, and you can see how everything communicates. So if we look over here on the right hand side, you'll see that we have this body control module, and that goes to these two different modules. So now if we know that that body control module isn't communicating, we can see that right away. Now remember, this is a 2015 Ford, so this ain't nothing brand new just rolling off the assembly line. So as you can see, Autel is kind of working backwards to be able to make this on more vehicles and available to more options. Now, I can't say this is gonna be available on every car, but I can say that I've done it on Chrysler's and it works. And this is the first time I've seen it on a Ford, so I'm pretty excited about that. So we have 100% through the modules, and we can see that our PSCM module has a code in it. <sighs> that, that's a little small. Can you? Can you zoom in on that? Heck yeah, you can grab that sucker and pinch it. And you can grab right in on that module. If we click on that module, we can see that that's the power steering control module and it gives us two options. The wrench, that is for help in diagnosing the vehicle. That'll be another video, just stay tuned for that. And if we click the arrow, that'll take us right into that module. Remember that list function we talked about? That's still pretty cool because Let's say we didn't know what all those different modules stood for. We can jump right over to list and that lists all those modules out with their terminology. And you can see down here that it has our ADOS modules are going to be identified and listed in there. And this one says the power steering control module and it gives us the code. So this one has an invalid data received from the ABS module, which is my fault because I had to unplug the AC to be able to get that rear cradle put down. So we can see that that module represents what the code is. We can flip right back over to topology. And if we wanted to, we can click on that module. Same idea. We click on it, jump that arrow in. And now we're into that module. And now we can do all the information selections from the side. I want to see the ECU information. I want to see trouble codes or I want to see live data. We can go into that individual module and clear those codes if we want to. What's the fun in that? That takes too much work. We're going to go ahead and go back. We can see our topology again. It's going to rescan that one module that had a code just to make sure we didn't change anything. And we're going to go ahead and do quick erase. If we do quick erase, that's going to go ahead and go into any of those modules that have codes. It's going to wipe all those codes out and we're green. Ching. Everything's done. Ship it on down the road. 
So a cool feature from Autel on the new Ultra Series diagnostic tool. Make sure you stay tuned because I got lots of more videos coming on this new tool. I'm Chad from Flash Performance. Make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.